What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970. Thank you for checking out this video. I love how things always happen for a reason, and it just goes to show that when you have a certain mindset and a certain concept and a, cer and a certain thought, things present themselves. And sometimes they could be a challenge. Sometimes it could be an answer. It depends on how you perceive it. Well, I want to um, say thank you to one of my subscribers. His name is, uh, or her name is Challenge Talks. I don't know if it's male or female, but I'm sure that's irrelevant. They sent me a link to a video. And it totally proves the point of the past couple of videos I've made. And it shows there's no accidents. Because when you put out a certain pattern into the universe, it comes back to you in certain ways. And I find that beautiful and amazing, and I wish more people would allow themselves to experience this and see life for what it is. It's a learning lesson. I'm going to post the link in the description box below. And it's an experiment that somebody did where a guy is basically beating up on a woman. He's putting her in a chokehold. He's basically pushing her. He's showing that he's trying to hurt her. And wanted to see how many people would actually try and stop him. And probably about 95% of the people not only didn't stop, not only didn't call the police, not only didn't say anything, but just continued on like nothing was going on. And only a handful of people actually tried to stop them. And like I say in my, especially my most recent videos, that takes no effort because it's easy to just pretend I don't see it. Well, I could get hurt. I shouldn't be a part of it. Well, you know what? You're allowing through your non-contribution, you're allowing another person, another fellow human being to suffer. Now, it's always easier said than done when you're on a computer screen as opposed to the real-life situation of how you'd react. But I would like to think I would have been one of those people to, at the very least, if it was somebody I couldn't overpower, but the very least, try and stop them by bringing it to the attention of others or calling the police. I don't think I would be the type of person that could just walk by and allow especially a defenseless woman, and you could see in the video that she's very helpless, allow her to be abused. But see how we're being conditioned. We're being conditioned to mind our own business, to be separate from one another, to allow things like that to happen. And as long as it doesn't happen to me, then is that okay? I want you to think about that. The next time a government says, well, we're bombing people over in another country for peace. And how it hurts others. And through our silence, we're basically saying, okay, continue to do what you're doing. As long as we benefit from it. And that's one of the things I'm trying to teach people. That it's not okay. And that's why I've taken my money out of the banks. That's why I'm not trying to promote government systems. That's why I'm trying to make my own businesses and try and make my own things to make my own choices. And I don't want to just sit idly by and say, well, as long as I can't see it and as long as I can't, you know, be a part of it, then it's okay. As long as I make money off of it, there are a lot of people out there and you could make a lot of money off of other people's misery. There are people that get paid thousands of dollars, if not even probably millions of dollars, to go out and be hired to kill somebody. Or to sell drugs that could damage people's minds or their lives. You can make money plenty of ways. And if that's your motivation, it's not the best way to help the world unite. So I want you guys to watch that video. It really tells what the average person thinks, but it also shows how easy it is to do nothing because the people that did try and stop them, they could have been hurt, but obviously they didn't care because they were trying to help somebody. And that's the difference between people who can hurt somebody and take a life 
as opposed to somebody that will save a life. It's very easy to extinguish a life. It takes no brains. It takes no effort. You want to kill an innocent animal? It's very easy to do, but it's not right. It takes a lot of effort to rescue an animal or rescue a fellow human being or say no to somebody hurting someone or put your own life on the line to save a stranger. And that's what I talk about, about love, the choice of higher vibrations, of, of caring, of not just looking the other way because it's easy. And that's why even though I've been attacked and made fun of and ridiculed and even ignored, it doesn't stop me from making my voice. And I do make change. You have to do your part. You have to take the effort. It takes sacrifice. It takes strength, real strength. It doesn't take much strength that knocks somebody out. Sometimes it's just as much as a lucky punch. But it takes a lot more effort to jump in between somebody trying to make that punch and stop them from hurting somebody. Be one of the people that does good, that helps people. Because that takes effort, energy, courage, real strength. To be a bully, to be an abuser, that takes nothing more than physical strength. And one day your physical strength will slowly fade away to the point where you'll be helpless. And maybe one day somebody will physically try and hurt you. And I bet you won't like it. And I'll tell you this much. I don't know if reincarnation is real or not. I guess there's only one way to find out. But who knows? Maybe, and I'd like to hope this is true. If there are animals or people being abused in this world, and I really wish they weren't, but who's to say, maybe they were people that hurt others and they got to come back as the very victims. Might make it a little bit more of a purpose. It's not always easy to do the right thing. Sometimes it's lonely. Sometimes it's depressing. Sometimes it's unrewarding. But when you know you've helped a person or you've saved an animal, you saw an animal drowning Plenty of people will walk by. But just imagine if you decided that despite what you were doing, despite where you were going, despite what you were wearing, you jumped into that water and saved its life. And because of you, it lived. That's a beautiful thing. The people that walk by will never get to see the look in that animal's eye as it runs off. Trying to say it to thank you without being able to say it. Or maybe it just runs off and... You don't see it again, but you know that you're the reason that's still alive. Because who knows, maybe somebody threw it in there. There are a lot of people out there that will hurt things. Don't be one of those people. That's a true coward. If all you can do in life is hurt people, congratulations. Because it's always easier to destroy than to create. It takes a lot of hard work and passion and love and time and sacrifice to sculpt something, to create something like a masterpiece or a, a skyscraper or a bridge or take effort to learn about cures, treatments, expanding of the universe, knowledge. You want to be a person that goes around punching people or hating people? It takes no effort, takes no intelligence, takes no wisdom. Is that something to be proud of? I don't know. But like I said, I want to thank um, Challenge Talks for sending me that video. It was very inspiring. I appreciate that. And it just goes to show. An effort was made. Now I'm putting my effort into it. And who's to say who sees that and does something about it? Maybe they get so mad at seeing that video and so inspired by being one of those people that help, all of a sudden they start a program or they donate to some charity or they create some invention. Inspiration comes from positive. And sometimes through negative, if you can choose to turn it into positive. And that's why they say, when the world hands you lemons, you make lemonade. It takes a little bit more effort than somebody that'll take that lemon and squeeze the juice in your eye because they know it'll hurt you. Not take any talent to do that.
So I hope you are inspired. I hope you like the way my videos have gone the past week. It just shows that it's reaching different directions, and if it resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't resonate with you, maybe someday it will. And if you hate it, or you hate me for it, I'm sorry that you feel that way. But I don't hate you, and I wish you well. And to everybody out there, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your night. Peace.